What's up guys, it's Oliver68 here bringing you a Christmas Eve Q&A edition. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Tomorrow there's not going to be any video, but Thursday expect an MMA podcast with my boy Alan. We're going to be talking about this upcoming Saturday's UFC 168. Friday I'm going to do a wrestling topic video. I have to decide. Saturday UFC 168 pay-per-view recap slash results. And Sunday another classic PPB review. And most likely I make my decision on Saturday. So Follow me on Twitter if you want to know what classic pay-per-view I'm going to be reviewing. But let's get started with the Q&A as Jao Pip Pipoka asked me, How awesome is Delex Man? He's a pretty good shooter. I like him. Do you think Delex Man is the best shooter in the history of the YWC? He's the best shooter in the whole YWC for me. Uh, not the history of the YWC. Uh, Delex Man is definitely up there for uh, top shooters. But I would probably go with maybe OTR Essentials, uh, Schleg Daddy, or Spinnernet back in the day. Even Troop Slayer. Troop Slayer was pretty good back in the day. Hell, you even can throw in an ROH Styles if you want to. Did you know I love Delex Man like a brother more than I love my own three brothers? Uh, That's kind of weird, man. Not going to lie. Do you love Delex Man like a brother as well? Uh, not not like a brother, but like a cousin, I guess. We don't really talk that much, me and Deluxe Man. We're not really, like, tight. Uh, we tweet each other here and there, maybe Skype each other here and there, but we're not tight. Like, the YWC is not as tight as everyone thinks it is. It's not like we're all homies and we talk to each other. It's just, it used to be like that. We used to, but, you know, some YWC members, they don't really like to talk to each other anymore. But he, he's like a cousin, and like I like talking to him every once in a while, you know, like a, like a cousin. Um, should the Lexman be inducted into the YWC slash IWC Hall of Fame? If there is one, sure, when he's done making videos. Why not? Well, there's a Deluxeman question, so I don't even think Deluxeman's going to see this, but there you go, Deluxeman, your biggest fan asks you questions about you. Um, Final Limits asks a... Ton of questions. Would you date an underage girl under 18 from 14 to 17? Nope. Do you eat at Taco Bell and do you like pizza? And if so, how often do you eat it? Uh, no, I don't eat at Taco Bell. I've been even eating at Taco Bell for like over a year. And pizza, yeah, every every once a month probably type of deal for pizza. I love myself some pizza. Pepperoni, by the way, if you're going to ask that question. Uh, Bray Wyatt versus Warrior from 1990. Feud. How would you book it? Uh, well, you have all these other questions of booking questions kind of going to be taking up a lot of times uh probably just have it where you know bray wyatt wants ultimate warrior to join his forces because he needs someone strong and muscular like ultimate warrior and someone insane and from out of this earth and warrior denying it and saying that he, he is only controlled by the cosmos that is the great blue sky probably that's how i would book it how long did you have that big box tv for since I was a little kid, when Power Rangers in Space was on TV, that's when I had that big box TV. That's all I can tell you. Because I remember I was watching the Power Rangers in Space video versus the... It was when the Rangers were facing the Cyber Rangers. So if you guys remember, uh, I don't remember if they were called Cy Psycho Rangers. Psycho Rangers, there you go. When they were facing the Psycho Rangers, that's how long I've had that big box TV for. Because I was watching the video, some dude came to our door, said, Hey, here's a big box TV because my dad got promotions. And shit. So yeah, there you go. That's how long I got a big box TV. Um, how do you have any flat screen HD TV at your home? Yes, sir. I do have one, just not in my room. How many rooms in your house? Uh, kind of getting personal here, but three. How many people live in your house? Three. Can I ever come home to your house and sleep over for a day? Sure, man. Doors wide open. I don't give a fuck. What UFC games do you have? Um, I don't have any UFC games anymore. I, I honestly. I did not like any of the UFC games. The the, the career mode is just is just dumb. I, I liked it where I could just do the dream fights and all that other stuff. Uh, but the career mode is dumb for each one. It's like it's so annoying to do the stats. The mini games aren't fun. It's not like Fight Night, so I, I don't have any UFC games anymore. Do you like fried chicken and pretzels? Uh, yes to both of those. I do love fried chicken and pretzels. Do you eat marshmallows? Yes. Do you eat rice cakes? I honestly have never eaten a rice cake before. Cereal, do you like? Yes, I do like cereal. I do like cereal. Special K cereal. Have you have you been working out as of late? Of course. I always work out. Thoughts on King Ta? Huh. I do not know who that is, so I can't give you thoughts on those final limits. And then more questions for final limits. Um, does Velvet Sky and Chris Saban live together, and do they play video games with each other all the time? That's something you would probably have to tweet them. Um, I'm pretty sure they would live together since they are um, engaged. Hungry, are you? 
not at this moment. I'm not that hungry. What do you do if you're hungry and are not and there's no food at your house? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I think he misspelled that a little bit. Uh, what do I do when I'm hungry? There's no food at my house. Probably just drive down to Subway, either Subway or La Fiesta, this Mexican place down the street. Subway and Mexican food is like my kryptonite. So yeah, that's probably what I most likely do if there's no food in my house. How nice is Velvet Sky's ass, man? Fuck, I need to sleep. It's like, okay, I don't think anyone needs to uh, hear that part, Final Limits. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice ass. Um, I don't know if it's natural or she got that added on like her tits, but yeah, it's pretty nice to look at. She's not a good in-ring performer by any means, but yeah, it is what it is. What are your thoughts on WJ mocking Bruce Blitz? I have not seen that video, so if you can send that video to me, that will be funny. Um, all my thoughts on Bruce Blitz in general, I have no problem with Bruce Blitz. Uh, seems like a pretty good, cool guy. I just don't find him as entertaining as most people. What are your thoughts on the Hulkster, brother? Well, I think you're talking about the Hulkster in WJ's videos. I like him. He, he adds a different element to WJ's videos because when WJ is going on his his funny little tirades, you just hear the Hulkster's funny-ass laugh, and it, it's just funny. I, I like him. Uh, what are your thoughts on Delex, man? Like I said earlier, he's a good shooter. I really do enjoy some of his stuff. I watch every every once in a while his videos, uh, um, try to catch up for what he's talking about. I, I mostly want to check out what his thoughts are on the pay-per-view because, like I said earlier, we don't really talk that much about wrestling. So I don't know most of his thoughts coming up to a pay-per-view. So I like to hear what he's thinking about when it comes out to a pay-per-view. Would you ever hang out with the Lex Man in real life? Sure. Why not? I have no problem with him. So sure. Would you hang out with Mitch at the wrestling gurus in real life? Hell yeah. I like Mitch. Mitch is a cool guy. I talked to Mitch. So yeah, I would hang out with Mitch in real life about if he wanted to. Sure. More questions for Final Limits. What do you think of Shawn Michaels when he had a mullet in the early 90s? Um... Just random, and oh my god, my neighbors are screaming outside. You see this? This is what happens on Christmas Eve. Um, um, pretty sexy, I guess. I don't know. Did you like Shawn Michaels and Diesel team? Was too young to even to fathom that. From tapes that I saw, not really that much. They didn't seem that interesting to me. So, just remember, I was born in 93, so they were just teaming up back then. Uh, why do you think Nash cut his hair short and stopped dyeing it black? Uh, I think Nash did that because he talked about it in a shoot interview. It's like, hey, less money for hair dye. Um, and I think he cut it short because it was just so hard for him to manage. I remember he, he talked about that in the shoot interview, actually, Final Limits. Uh, I can't remember which one is it, but if you just type in Kevin Nash shoot, shoot interview, he talked about how like it was less money for hair dye and then that he was just like, screw it, I'm just going to cut my hair. He, he, he recently has done it um, for his returns in the WWE, that is. Uh, who, who would win in a fight, Bigfoot, Silva, or Vladimir Kozlov? And I know Kozlov is actually a trained fighter. Um, Bigfoot Silva uses steroids, so that way he can win fights. So, I don't know. I haven't seen that much of Kozlov's Sambo in real life. I'm pretty sure he must be decent, but I don't know if he's actually really good to fight a true MMA fighter. So, I'm just going to go Bigfoot, even though he uses steroids to fight. Yeah, if you guys did not hear that story, sorry. Um, final limits. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Married, two children, having a good life as a sports broadcaster on radio. That's where I see myself in 20 years. Where do you see the WWE in 20 years? And will Cena still be hogging the spotlight by then? Nah, Cena will be gone in 20 years. I don't know why you think you can last that long. His body can barely last now. I don't think he has 20 years left in his tank. I'm pretty sure he'll make appearances here or there, but I don't see him. Um, I see the WWE kind of struggling a little bit in this next 20 years if they don't get their shit together. If they get their shit together, then yeah, you know, they could probably last. But as of right now, 20 years for the WWE from now, that would mean we would, we would be at WrestleMania 50. It's hard to really say. I mean, they have a lot of money to last them for a while, that's for sure. But do they have the talent and the storylines and the interest to keep the product going, to keep fans going? I mean, they can have all the money in the world. But just because you have all the money in the world doesn't mean shit if no one's watching your crap. So that's what I have to say. Do you think Madison Rain is a bad mother since she returned to TNA after having her baby instead of staying away from wrestling to be with her baby? No. Is Kevin Cena a bad father because he's still wrestling? Is Randy Orton a bad father because he's still wrestling? Are all these wrestlers who have kids, are they bad fathers or mothers? I think she's still I, she still goes with her baby. Don't forget, Final Limits, TNA road schedule it is nothing like the WWE's. Um, and she's been gone from extensive periods of time. So I'm pretty sure her baby is probably three months old by now. So I 
don't think she's a bad mother at all. Um, she needs to work to provide for that child. So if anything, she's actually being a good mother working for her child's future. Because why would she, ba she be bad for trying to get money for her child? I know a lot of people like to make jokes, well, TNA doesn't have any money. But I don't think that's bad of her for trying to work and trying to provide for her family. I think that's actually good for her. So, no, I don't think she's a bad mother at all. I think that's smart of her. And final limits with the final question is, has a game ever froze on you after you made it far and forgot to save that you had to start the game all the way from the start of the game? Uh, no, I don't think that has ever happened to me. I've had moments like in Ratchet and & Clank and Jack 2 where, you know, my game froze and then later on I'm, I, after I beat a mission and the auto save didn't catch that and then all of a sudden I had to restart the mission again. Uh, well, more for Jack 2's case, Ratchet, I would just have to restart the whole planet, which I didn't mind because Ratchet and Clank's planets, you know, you can explore a little bit more. Uh, I think I had that once for, what was that game? Uh, Red Dead Redemption, I had that once, but I didn't restart my whole game. It restarted me at this one point, one point in the game, which I thought was dumb. Uh, but as for old classic games, maybe the, maybe I guess Pokemon uh, Stadium could be a good example um, because I remember one time my game froze when I was during round two, and then all of a sudden, um, they reset my whole Nintendo 64 game, and bam, I was back at round one. I didn't care because I was a little kid at the time. I just thought it was a glitch or something, and I just thought I beat the game, and they're just restarting it, so that's what I thought, but I guess that could be an example. I, I'm not sure. Um, maybe like me not saving the game, like when I used to play Pokemon back in the day where I would just turn it off and restart the game every single damn time because I thought that was the whole point of the game. But yeah, not always where that has ever happened to me. That sucks if it happened to you, man. But I think maybe you wrote that question in because you that just happened to you recently when it did. But yeah, no, not really. Not really ever happened to me. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the Q&A. Remember, you can send in your questions via inbox or tweeting me on Twitter at ChaseOver68. Uh, for everyone who sent in the Twitter question today, just know it, I'm dead shit tired. I came back from a Christmas party. Don't really want to check the tweeter right now. Just want to get in bed and relax and wake up to Santa Claus giving me damn presents. Santa's still real. He's still real. Anyways, guys, enjoy your Christmas. Hope you guys have a happy holidays. I hope you guys just have fun. Be, be Have fun with your family tomorrow. Just relax. Watch some NBA. You know, come on. The NBA is on TV. We got some good, exciting games tomorrow. Well, not really, but we got some good games like the Warriors and the Clippers, the Spurs and the Rockets. Enjoy some basketball. Relax. Rewind. Be excited. Go watch some of my old videos while you're at it. Watch Shawn Michaels' One More Match. Watch TNA, The Sinking Ship. Watch my top five favorites to win this year's 2014 Royal Rumble. Watch my Batista Returns video while you're at it. And while you're at it, just subscribe to me. Just subscribe to Chase Oliver 68 while you're at it. Anyways, guys, or Chase Oliver. Because Google Plus, for some reason, won't let me use Chase Oliver 68. Fuck you, Google. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have yourself a wonderful holiday. That's all I got to say. Peace.